holidays everyone my name is lavender and i'm very happy you're here to talk about all of the new dolls set to release in 2022 <laughs> 2023 who am i okay so the first doll i want to talk about is speedster that has lol omg swim have you seen the sharp cut on those bangs and her big beautiful brown eyes but the swimsuit still reminiscent of the speedster get up we all know and love are you kidding me she's absolutely gorgeous i love the high-waisted swimsuit like the uh, bodice cutout it's so freaking adorable you can usually find this girly in most dollar generals or sometimes online i honestly have no idea if i find a link though i'll let you know next we have series two like right after we get series one series two of the mini sweets lol surprise they are freaking adorable. I'm honestly obsessed with these, and this line looks super cute too. The one I'm most interested in would probably have to be the Icy Girl, although the Jelly Belly looks iconic with the Reese's Pieces too. Wow, look at her accessories. Yeah, that's pretty cute. That's very, very, very cute. But yeah, oh my god, look at the Icy one. She's for sure my favorite. I think she even comes with a second outfit, and look at that hair. Look at the tie. Look at the earrings. Everything about her I'm loving. It's very winter-esque. I feel like I need her in my life. So the rest of them look just as cute. The Hershey's Kisses, is that like birthday cake kisses? Oh my god, it is. That is fabulous. Oh my god. So I believe these are already starting to hit stores. Oh, I even see that there's a Mentos one. Collect your cravings. Holy crap, this appeals to me on a deep, deep level. But yeah, I'm going to get this one too. So for all of the following leaks, I definitely want to make sure we give shout outs to Dolls for Dessert, Doll Obsession 2022, Delicious Dolls, Collection Collage, and Ash Silverstone 2022. Thank you so much for providing all of these beautiful, beautiful leaks of the Series 2 Shadow High Dolls. Like, yes! So the first student we're taking a look at is Miss Reina Glitch Crown. We know her as the kind of annoying announcer that is their week to week with the shadow high rainbow vision contest but i don't know there's just something about her i'm not 100 percent sold on yes i like her black nail polish the details the sequins i've kind of you know been there done that but the boots very cool the knitted kind of like really tight boots with the fabric i love it there haven't really been any innovations in the style of it natasha has the same boots a lot of the mini high pretty studio accessories have the same knit boots so I would have liked to see maybe something a little bit different, but her face is adorable. I love the color on her lips. Yet again, she has one of those purpley blue rainbow high eyes. I wish she had like just brown eyes. That'd be so sweet, but here's the box art. So like I said, not completely sold on her, but I'm gonna give her a maybe to a no on my to buy list. Definitely a for sale baby. Yes, for sure. Next doll I have to talk about is the boy doll from the series. This is our second shadow high boy doll first was ash silverstone and now we have mr rex here look at his like little earring tabs that was so cute and he comes with this does it literally say gatorade what the hell does that say gutterade gutterade what oh my god and then lace up shoes which are so cool i like putting the girl dolls also with those kinds of shoes i think they look amazing and um like the pan material actually looks like really nice like corduroy type his art is stunning his eyes are still that blue which is fine it looks like a different kind of like aquamarine gray style and then of course he has i don't sparkle i just have shade absolutely perfect for shadow high 10 out of 10 i need him must buy all right next is carla um do we have a name pronunciation on this let me know because i'm not entirely sure obviously she's that light baby pink she's going to be appealing to me the friggin most I mean, look at the detail on her outfit alone. I see already like several different pieces that we're gonna get, including the gloves and then this fan moment. I haven't really seen a fan moment since Miss Lily Chang, so I'm excited. Her white eyebrows did not go unnoticed. Like the whole eye makeup is something like maybe I wanna try. Like maybe just do a whole week of like rainbow high makeup ideas. Oh God, that'd be fun. But the boot coverings are what bring it home to me look at them it'd be so much fun to mix and match and use that for restyling future doll outfits oh my freaking god and then of course the um hairstyle is cute too the earrings look a little different than what we've 
gotten before the one on the left there it looks a little bit like janky like what is that poking into her head i'm not entirely sure we have a bird's eye view as well i found which looked interesting especially because you can see like the white eyelashes very emmy vonda so they're probably like new, reusing whatever kind of materials they used for her. I'm not sure, but I mean, it's all the shadow high aesthetic. Oh, I see. It's like little chains hanging off of the S on her earring. Okay. Got you, MGA. I'm up to speed now. But Carla is one of the 10 out of 10 must buys for me right away, for sure. Okay, the next shadow high cutie we have to discuss is Miss Diamante. I'm assuming it's a reference to diamonds. She's this really pretty diamond aesthetic. Thus, tinsel in the hair. Lots and lots of tinsel in the hair. Lots of bang moments as well. The skin tone is interesting. It's like a deep indigo violet. Same with the lips. Same with the eyes. Dark eyelashes. It's 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 giving something. And I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if it's this new face mold or what. But she comes with hella accessories. She's probably some kind of makeup artist focus. I hate how choppy these bangs are here. Maybe they're supposed to be choppy. Give her the benefit of the D. Let's see, but look at the inklet, like little, um, I don't know what that is, like a pouchlet with the same type of style earrings that Rex had, but I'll take it. It's plus because a new earring mold. Look at the new earring mold. Super fabulous. I don't know what it's supposed to be, like a coin. I'm not sure, but look at all these pieces. Together, they might not look great, but separately, they're going to look bomb. I think that's like a, like a one-piece suit she's wearing underneath that says shadow. So cute. But let's see, she's going to be a sale baby, if not a complete pass baby. I'm not that impressed. Okay, so this next doll is giving lots and lots of craziness, lots of spades vibes, lots of xenon, girl of the 25th century looks. Now, I, I, I feel like I'm still undecided at this point. The makeup is very cute. It looks kind of like Carla's makeup, but um... It's just odd because I feel like the like top eyeliner is just like pointing at her nose. Like, look at my nose. Which is fine, but like, why? And then she has like two little circles on her head. Very spacey. And then she of course has the space buns. And then like a t-shirt, meaning maybe there's a band. Because it looked kind of like a band t-shirt. Plug-ins on the shoes. Crazy. So she must be like an electrified girly. The dark eyebrows though are a hit. I almost wish that they were just black, not brown. But I will say I do like her light brown eyes. Very sweet and cute. There probably is a lot of potential for this doll to have some, you know, factory defects. I'm thinking with hair, the makeup, all of that. Especially with dark on light skin. Oh, just sets you up for a lot of problems. Uh, she has like that spacey jacket. Oh, on the side it says sassy. Okay. Kind of looks like Rex's jacket, but in white. And then, yeah, the shirt underneath, all that jazz. Um, I honestly am not too impressed. Probably won't buy her. Okay, this next girl is just one ginormous sleigh. Um, the box art in this one, you can definitely tell. Like, there's kind of like a fashion sketch art of it on the front. Very sweet, very cute. She comes with kind of like the same accessories. A cell phone case, cell phone type deal. Almost kind of like the Paris Hilton accessories, but you know, on a smaller scale. Her hair is so gorgeous. It's like this crazy color mixed in with the micro base. It's just flawless. I love it. And I like her dress. I mean, I don't know. I like the earrings, the makeup, the whole vibe. I am a purple girl, so who knows if I'm biased, but I need her. Also, 10 out of 10 must buy for me. Okay, next for Monster High, I am so flipping excited about these Skultimate Secrets because it just it just looks like such a vibe. I mean, look at the carrying case, like the little locks, the storage compartments. This is Draculaura's case, of course. And inside, you see all the little personalized memos she has, her birthday, all of that sweet stuff. But her hat and shorts, so it really gets me. Plus, the boots are so freaking cute. Need her. Obviously gonna get her. Same story with Claudine Wolf. Um, all of like the colors represent the core character style, fashion, what they like, dislike. So I feel like this line is just a little bit more out there crazy. They're gonna take some risks. I mean, the faux line jacket with the like metallic was interesting for her. Frankie, they look great. Um, the boot on them looks amazing. And then also Laguna with the, the brightest lipstick I've ever seen in my life. Um, Honestly, all of these are a slay. Like, I feel like I need to get all of them. If I had to pass on one, would it be Cleo? 
I don't know, but I like her with the bangs. Anyway, let's move on to the Goyle doll 2023. Um, they had like a fang vote for Monster High and all that to choose which one will come back for like the collector doll. And they chose um, Rochelle Goyle, which is great because she is very like underrepresented in my opinion with G3 especially. Like I hope they're going to keep bringing in these new characters. I mean, look at the design of her. With the hair and everything i got this from youloveit.com go take a peek at all of the kind of designs it's so sweet and cute plus i think it's on their instagram so yeah exciting for that i actually might dip my toes into the collector world to get like that fancy fancy doll so cute and so we're gonna pop into the bratz universe really quick they're gonna do some more repros the next one set to release is the pretty and punk First, we have Chloe, if you never got to collect her. It's a really neat, kind of like almost very British-esque line. Here's Yasmin. Gorgeous black pants. I mean, I feel like out of them, I want Yasmin the most. Usually it's Jade, but mm, the other one's winning. So another new release for 2022 is the My First Barbie Dolls collection. Basically, they have, they're a little bit bigger than the regular Barbies, and they have new makeup styles, bigger eyes, easier to dress up, and have soft touch bodies. Not really sure what that might mean, but exciting nevertheless. I mean, it's designed for probably younger kids, younger ages, but they're still cute to look at and see these like fun designs. They have all the different characters represented. They even have Miss Teresa. I missed seeing her cute little face and like all kinds of stuff like this purple barbie is adorable with the little poodle thing i'm not quite sure what it is or how much these will retail for but interesting and one more thing i wanted to talk about are these adorable play sets that also go along with the my first barbies for 2023 look at the little lantern in the bottom it's like this go-kart the chairs I have bears on them. Like, are you kidding me? I want these play sets. I need these play sets. They have the bed with the trundle underneath for like your friend for sleepovers. Um, do they really think about everything? The pets, it seems like they're going in a weird direction. I'm not sure if that is a pillow she's holding or what, but they still have the plastic bear. But what I did notice is they have a fuzzy pillow. My froggy self is gonna be happy about that, that it's not plastic. Okay, now this is the last thing, I promise. We finally have the new Barbie Rewind dolls coming. There's the 80s edition. This one looks so cute. I feel like I must get her. The skirt, the leggings underneath, all of the 80s like accessories, the popcorn, the sunglasses. Oh, it's so sweet. I love it when they do these so much, but don't buy them right away. They usually go on sale after a few months. And then the next Barbie Rewind is, oh yeah, also the 80s edition. I think all of them are. That's awesome. So this one is a little bit more of like a slumber party situation where she has the old fashioned TV, looks like maybe a can of hairspray, some makeup, and of course they come with the iconic like um, tape doll stand. It's so cute, like a music tape. Oh my god. Oh, this one looks like some kind of prom queen. It says 85 on there. We don't get any leaks of the doll yet, but look at these new Barbie looks dolls. Like wow and then this one in particular is just looking so interesting i love the darker skin tone with the blonder hair and she's actually so pretty i don't have a barbie looks but if i had to get one maybe her anyways thank you so much for watching my little review of the 2023 dolls so far that have been kind of leaked or released with stock photos and I really hope you all have the merriest of holidays in the future. And thanks again for watching. Have a good one.